My refrigerator is open. There's no one standing by the refrigerator. Does your two-year-old just randomly open up your refrigerator and walk away? I have to put freaking child locks on the refrigerator. <laughs> okay, y'all. I gotta feed these kids. I'll be right back. As you can see, I can't have eggs or toast or turkey by myself because my kids eat my food. You saw the little hand in the screen? Yep, she ate my turkey. What you got in your hair? A little clip thingy. I didn't put that in there. So weight loss, this is just, I'm not on a diet right now. So y'all yeah, saw I used all that margarine and everything in the eggs and everything. So this was a typical me being on the weight loss journey. I would skip the bread and the margarine or butter. Sometimes I use butter too. I would skip that and just use the nonstick spray and just salt and pepper and just have eggs and turkey and no bread. So. I am gonna get back onto that. I'm just trying to figure out my meal plans and figure out what I'm gonna do. I may start it either later this week or maybe tomorrow if I can figure it out tonight. But I did wanna tell you guys, I am going to be doing a water challenge, not a fast. I can't do that, I have to eat around here. I don't get enough water in. Uh, so, uh, uh, uh. this is my water bottle here. Um, typically, the goal is to drink. Bruh. Oh my gosh, y'all. Hi. I'm just playing with my toys. Okay, Maya, is that it? <laughs> can, I, can I talk to the people? Keep that bye bye. In. Keep that in. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, go eat your food. Bye. 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 Okay. Done. So today I'm going to be talking about a new challenge I'm doing for myself. So, you know, I'm supposed to be being a little bit more healthy over here, focusing on weight loss and eating better, 
feeling better mentally, physically, all that stuff. So I decided to do a little challenge for myself and that is the water challenge. Now I'm not doing it fast. <laughs> I know there are some girls out there who can do that. I can't do it. I have to eat. I'm up like pretty much majority of the 24 hours. So there's no way I can go without eating. But I am going to try to increase my water intake because I don't drink enough water. Usually I do drink plenty of water when I'm on a like diet or something. But I am going to be drinking three of these. So this is, it's 32 ounces, but... It goes a little bit more than that. Hold, please. Sorry, my dog was kind of going crazy in the background. <laughs> but um, like I was saying, this is listed as 32 ounces. But honestly, it holds about 34 to 35 ounces. So I'm going to do three of these. I can't do a whole gallon. I already know I'm not even going to just set myself up to just fill. Because I already know I'm not going to be able to drink that much water. But I can do 3Ds. I have done 3Ds in a day. And it has the like timeline on there to kind of help you stay on track. So mine starts from 8 a.m. And then it ends at 7 p.m. I'm going to do three a day. I just fill this up three times. So that should be doable. So this is day one. And I have not had anything to drink yet. I already had breakfast. We had eggs, turkey, and some toast. So... Not the healthiest breakfast for me because I did use margarine and usually when I am doing dieting or eating better, I typically leave out the margarine and just use like the nonstick spray and just season. So we did do that, um, but I'm just going to kind of, you know, take you guys along. This is going to be day one. I'm going to try to do this between five and seven days straight to see if I can get all my water in. Got this cute little bottle from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description, but it's cute. I figure, hey, I need to look at something, feel good about picking up the jug instead of just getting a regular water bottle. So I like the colors. It's cute. So hopefully I can keep it going, you guys. So here we go. Day one. It has a little straw, too. It's a silicone straw. And the cap closes. My daughter, my youngest daughter can't get into it yet. So that's pretty good. Who that's cold. It's cold. <laughs> I had to put some ice in it. It's already melted, but it's still pretty cold. All right, so I'll keep you guys updated on my progress. All right, y'all, I'm back. Just for the update, it's day one. It's a struggle. <laughs> this is still bottle number one. And y'all know I wake up late around here, so even though it says 7 p.m., I'm not going to be done with three bottles by seven. So it is... It's actually 7 now. Yep, it's 7.45 now. So I'm going to finish up this little bit for my first bottle. Uh, Bruh. My two-year-old is trying to get my water. It's so good. I think that's good. I think my straw might not be able to get the rest of it. So I'm going to fill her up for round two and I'm gonna drink probably half of it like on the spot so I can try to catch up and then I'll be okay I will be halfway through and I'm not going to bed until late anyway so I think I can do it so let's go ahead and fill this up real quick and we will get on to bottle number two and I've been buying these for my husband so he doesn't like Zephyr Hill water and that's usually what I drink. I typically like spring water. I can't stand purified, y'all. It just has a funny taste to me. So I'm going to use one of his jugs and I'll just get some more tomorrow because I'm going through the bottles pretty quickly. It takes me like six bottles to fill this up three times. So Maya, stop. I'm trying to film the video. You're not, you're not going to let mommy be great right now? Just let me be great for a minute, please. Yeah, it's water. Yeah, it's water. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. All right. So, see, 
Right here is the 32 mark. Uh, That's what I was talking about. Maya, stop. This is the 32 mark, but you can fill it up more than that. So I think it's about 34 ounces or so I can get in here. And just like that, we are ready to go for round two. It's pretty cold. I'm going to try to drink it down to at least 5 p.m. Like I said, I'm supposed to be down here by 7 p.m. This is supposed to be my third refill, but I don't wake up that early. So we started a little late. Oh, it's cold. I can't stand it. I got it down to 315. <laughs> okay. Whew, a couple more chugs and I should be able to get it to like 530 at least, right? Hey, stop. Sorry, I keep having to stop the camera. Get down. Sorry, I keep having to stop the camera because my two-year-old is getting into the mess. Y'all hear her in the background? I did get it down to 5.30. Like I said, it's 7.50. Well, 7.57 now. So I'm going to go ahead and try to catch up to... Well, I don't know if I can drink the rest. I just drank this whole thing. So I can try to do it. I'm going to try to get it down to the refill again. And then I'll be on my third one for tonight. Look, I'm down to seven. <laughs> so I, I technically caught up to the hour. So that was a lot. I'm going to go ahead and drink the rest of this and then fill it up again. Number three. Say number three. Stop. You trying to help mommy? Maya, I got it. Thank you. So today I want to talk about my water challenge and tell you guys how it went. So I was on a mission to drink at least three bottles. This one here, and you can see it's filled up for today. So three bottles of these a day, which equals about 100 ounces of water for me. Now, um, I'm going to tell you guys, I do not drink water. So that's why it was a challenge for me i know some of the ladies are doing the whole drink a gallon a day for seven days to see how things change for them i can't do that much now granted i think a gallon is about 128 ounces so i'm not far from a gallon i just know for me three is enough like i feel very full when i drink three of these and it's pretty much a struggle to get three of these in i can do two no problem but doing three it was a struggle so let's just get right into it so i was not doing this for weight loss i was doing this to kick start my healthy eating and healthier lifestyle so typically what i do if i'm going to start a new diet or start exercising and things like that i start with my water intake because if i'm not drinking water everything else is just i might as well not even try so this week was all about focusing on water and day one was a struggle as you can see in that previous clip because I started so late. So I find that if I'm already starting my day really late and not starting off with water, it's a struggle. So my tip, which definitely worked for me, is try to drink as much water as you can in the beginning part of the day. So when you wake up, if you have this by your bedside, just go ahead and chug. So that would be my number one tip is to start earlier rather than later so you're not playing catch up i was pretty much playing catch up the entire week y'all so i already know i need to get it together when it comes to getting my water in i felt a little nauseous day one and day two because my body wasn't used to drinking that much water like it had been in the past so that part was a struggle and then as the week progressed i was fine with getting my three water bottles in i just know i need to start earlier 
not later. So I really need to follow the timeline. And I think that's another tip. If you get one of those water bottles that have the time on there, it can kind of keep you on track. So you're not like trying to chug a whole jug like me at one time. That was number one. Now, as far as results or what benefits I got from it, I felt less bloated this week, which is a great thing. I had a little bit more energy and my skin kind of got a little bit lighter from drinking more water. Now, as far as weight, I did not lose any weight. I weigh exactly the same. And I think that's because I really didn't change my diet. So that will be the next thing that we're gonna work on is changing our diet. But all in all, the water challenge went great. I was able to complete six out of the seven days. One day I just could not get all of the water in. It was, it was one of my work days. So we just was really, really busy and I could not find a time to drink the water. So I ended up falling short by about half of the container. So that's not bad. I would say I drank probably what, 70 ounces instead of the whole 100. So that's not bad at all. Um, but I will continue to try to keep that goal of three of those water jugs, which is 100 ounces for me daily, especially when I'm trying to lose weight. So moving forward, if I'm doing any other challenges, if I'm doing like exercise challenges or eating a certain way as far as dieting, just know that I am going to be always doing the three water jugs a day. So that was pretty much my little challenge for myself. All in all, it was great. I felt better. I had more energy. My skin was a little bit more clear and I did not have as much bloating as I normally would. If you guys are interested, I will leave the link for the water bottle down below. And they have different types. I'm not gonna carry around that big gallon jug. I can't do it. So <laughs> I have to be able to have something that I can take with me to work and just you know put it in the car. This one I love because it fits in my cup holder in my truck. So it's just easy for me to carry back and forth. So I just fill this up three times a day and we're good to go. But they do have half a gallon sizes, a gallon size, they have the 32 ounce size, so whatever works. That is it, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the mini vlog and the water challenge. Like I said, it was a good change for me to go ahead and incorporate that water again because y'all know we all need our water. <laughs> if there are some challenges that you guys know that circulating on YouTube that you want to see your girl try, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I do know there's one challenge that I will be doing, but I'm going to let y'all wait for that video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hitting that like button and that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.